So I've been sitting on this review for a days now. I actually don't remember when I saw the film, but this is my review of um, Jean Dillman. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. My pronunciation of French is abysmal, even if I can understand it and read it. It's funny how language works like that. Anyway, this is a... It's a film made by Chantal Ackerman. Um, she was one of those directors that really influenced cinema in the sense of allowing more female perspectives into cinema in general. And from just seeing this film alone, because this was the first one that I've seen, uh, I have to say that she's pretty much a genius. And the fact that she made this at 24 is genuinely fucking insane to me. Like, that is the most ridiculous, in, ridiculous talent I've heard of in a filmmaker in a while. This movie, um, a lot of people say that it's extremely boring and that they had to watch it over the course of a few days, which I don't understand. Yes, it's very boring. It's meant to be boring. It's meant to put you in the mind, in, in the mind of Jeanne as she goes about her routine. And I certainly found myself somewhat drifting. But as soon as that drifting started, I always snap back into focus. I remember as I was watching it, I started focusing and getting excited about really tiny details that I normally wouldn't. Like when she brought the groceries home and she started, uh, she started putting them away. I was like, ooh, what did she get? And I was like in my head going, oh, that's what she got. Cool. And it's it's interesting how a film like this can make you focus in on the smaller parts of life like that. It really makes you appreciate that stuff in a, in a way that I haven't seen another film really do. Mainly because there's no film like this film, really. There's no film like Jean Dielman. It's a three and a half hour masterwork of slow cinema, honestly. It's an, it's, it's an extremely dense piece of cinema that I can probably burn thousands of words on. It, 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 it seems to me, uh, well, I don't know if I am really qualified to say this as a, as a, as a guy, but, you know, it seems to me to be invoking sort of obsessions with uh, the domesticity of females in the past and how that affects them, which I can uh, d d just, the way this shot, it, it, it's deceptively complex. It, it, the composition of the shots, the editing, it, it all reinforces and it, it, it and grinds against Sounds routine. At, at the use of lighting in this too, it's it's astonishing. But 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 the way that she uses the camera to in to make Jean feel enclosed and imprisoned. And there's one specific shot that I'm thinking of that I'm probably going to use as the background of this video. So you'll see it from the start. Um, that really fucking hit me with how well it was done. She's sitting at the table, and she's framed by the table in front of her and the, and, the, and, the, and the stove behind her, as well as the cabinet and the door frame and the window. It's just, it's, it's really fucking great, really great fucking sh shot there. I, I, it, I had to pause and just take it in for a second because it was that good. Um... It really focuses in on the effort of all of the tasks that 
all these chores that she's doing over the course of the film. It really focuses in on how much effort it takes to do these things, which leads me to praise Delphine Seyrig as in this kid, in this performance, because it is genuinely a really, really subtle performance that I wasn't really great. I wasn't really feeling to begin with. I think it really hit home about halfway through just how, just how fucking good it was. This performance, it has, so it, like, it's very, very subtle. She hardly ever shows any emotion unless she's talking with other people. And I very much understand that because I'm not that big of an emotional guy either. You know, I'm not, I mean, you know, I don't really show emotion that much when I'm around other, when I'm around by myself and even when I'm around people, but that's mainly because of my autism, but that's how I were here. But, um, yeah, her performance in this is amazing. Um, One aspect about this that really hit me in a sense of, oh shit, I'm a dickhead, was Jean's son. Because, uh, the, we, we, she, I mean, she loves him too much for him to really be considered an antagonist, but the his presence in the film in a formal context makes him feel antagonistic simply because of how much we just watch him passively absorb with not even thinking and the reason this hit you know, made me think oh i'm an asshole is because i could i could see myself in that and see what my mother does for me all the time and it it, it was it made me connect to the film in a way that i don't think i would have otherwise i We, um, like, as we watch the film, we know how long it takes Jean to make all these meals that he undereats, which I'm the same. I, I can't really eat that much anymore. It's, it's strange. We just, we see him just unknowingly and blithely watching on as his mother does all these things for him and he just doesn't really appreciate it. Which hit me because I, I I sometimes feel like I'm doing the same. I feel like I don't really thank my mother for the stuff she does as much as I should. And it, it caused some self-reflection, let's just say that. Um, many par- as with many parts of this film, I found that aspect in particular really quietly devastating. I'm also thinking about that one shot where um, she goes into the cafe on the third day and the seat's taken. That also just was like a gut punch. And I really... I really think that this deserves its spot on that on the top of the list, the sight and sound list. It really does. It's really fucking good. It's... As I said, the use of the camera work, the use of the editing, the acting, all around, this this film deserves its reputation as an absolute masterpiece of cinema. And I'm definitely going to be watching more of Ackerman's films, Seth, because of this. So yeah, um, thank you for listening to my review of John Dillman. I hope you enjoyed I would definitely recommend this film if you're able to stomach three and a half hours of mundane chores being performed because you you owe it to yourself. This film is one of the best ever made. It's one of the best to ever do it, honestly. And I would recommend it to any cinephile purely purely on that alone. So, yeah, that's the review. Thank you for listening.